one of the most shocking episodes in this whole battle on the freedom of expression in India has been uh, what happened with the artist M.F. Hussain. Uh, in 1991, we were doing this series of concerts called Artists Against Communalism, which we carried to different cities. When we went to Bombay, Bombay had just seen a series of riots. We put up this 100 feet long canvas and we asked artists to come and paint on it. The work on that canvas started with the painting of Hussain. I consider each stroke as, as the death knell of all these ugly forces. Hussain was the most well-known contemporary artist of India. In the 50s and 60s, he brought in a kind of modernism, indigenous to the Indian way of looking at things. He was an artist who mined every tradition, the high classical, the vulgar popular, the cinema, he actually even made films himself and had actually started out painting cinema billboards. But also he was deeply attached to this country. All his work sprang from living in India. He was the only Indian artist, I would say, who had actually dealt with Hindu iconography. And uh, in fact, you know, being a Muslim, this right-wing Hindu people, they attacked him. Hussein became the perfect target for the Hindu right because of the fact that he was a Muslim and he had painted uh, gods and goddesses, particularly goddesses, in the traditional iconography with bare breasts. He was accused of being blasphemous and making vulgar paintings. It is ridiculous. Accusing him, I mean, it was really slander of being disrespectful to, the, to a Hindu goddess was ridiculous. It's, I mean, so ridiculous that the, the, the figure itself even doesn't have any sexuality. It's almost like a stick figure. But what happened is that his exhibitions began to be attacked, physically attacked. His work was destroyed. His own home was attacked. And it became very serious. And for us, this became an issue which lay at the core of Samad's. After all, Safdar had been killed as a creative person, you know. So we got very involved in making very public demonstrations in support of Hussein. There was a big, huge street march from the National Gallery of Modern Art to the Rabindra Bhavan, the Lalit Kala Academy in Delhi. This ended up with court cases being filed against Hussein. Now, this was a new tactic that the Hindu right came up with. And he ended up going into exile you know, leaving the country and going to Dubai, which was a deeply shocking thing for all of us in India. Now certain fundamentalist groups come out and say that this is causing enmity, promoting enmity between groups. We worked with his lawyers, giving them art historical information on the traditions of Indian iconography, on art historical texts. We also held academic symposia, talking about these issues in some depth and detail. The papers of which we published, you know, we had never thought that anything like this would ever happen in a country that we regarded, you know, we called the biggest democracy in the world and a haven for free speech.